Hey guys, um, I'm here on Trekcraft. It's a different server. I won't explain what's going on with my Trek on this video or probably any other video. Um, I'm here with Queen Curie. She's a little shy. Don't mind her. <laughs> Say hi. Um, Yo, what's what's good? I I I am humbled and honored to be on this channel of the um, of the YouTube famous uh, Minecraft Trekkie. It's nice to have you here. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, Yo, we, we fucking doing a conny, bro. <clears throat> not the Enterprise, though. This is not 2017. Nah, that, 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 shit, that shit's whack, my dude. That ship has sailed. Who wants to do the Enterprise when you could do your own ship? Hang on, let me find my damn compass. There we go. Anyways, here we are. Here's the outside. It's very preliminary. We haven't done much of anything with it. Ignore that. Weird import issues. This is actually a custom block hull color using actual colors from the show. Gotta get those hex values. Yes, we do. A. Hey. I just finished this nacelle yesterday. Well, finish is kind of a strong word. It still has a lot of. It's getting. It's getting there. Yeah. Color wise, for the most part, is good. Yes, I know. I still gotta fit and fix the text color. Oh my god, did someone? Oh yeah, that was you probably. <laughs> like, here comes a passive aggressive sign from Queen. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, let's go back inside. Because there's a lot to lot to take a look at in here. That's the no. turbo lift. I think I showed that. Here is the main service corridor that runs along the bridge. Hang on, I'll show it on the map. You can see it on the map up there. Oops. What did you do? Nothing, don't worry about it. I'm not worried, only a little bit. All nope, right, don't worry about it, nothing happened. Let's take the ladder. All right. Take the, I'll take the cap of the Now we're thing. in deck two or deck one B, depending on how you want to say it. Here we have phaser control with the main phasers that Queen put in. Still very work in progress, definitely. Yeah, definitely product. everything is. Nothing's final. Here's all the custom blocks I textured. few consoles, some beep beep bloopy things, some BLUs or blinking light units. The hell? This thing. What'd you do? I didn't do anything. What'd you do? I don't know. I'm scared. I'm confused. Here's the main turbo lift. That leads down into oblivion. Right there. I'm sorry if this, the recording is a little bit laggy. I am in 4K after all. After all. Do you have a copy of this bridge that I'm separated out? Um, it's I do, but it's not here. Okay, sound. It's not on. It's not on this server right now. But we, it is capable of doing it. Okay, well, this is the bottom and. This is the this is like yeah. the systems systems room. Yeah, these are little thruster things. Mm. Backwash. Backwash vents. It's a good kind of backwash, not the backwash you're thinking of. No. Yeah. And um. So basically, that's for build construction purposes, right? It's not like for emergencies. I forget. What? 
that's like for... I mean, it can't it can be for emergencies but like it it it's not that's not what it's like mainly used for um, I mean... it's it's mainly used for like construction or if there's like a new bridge module that they want to attach it will lift off it it does have rocket little little rocket thrusters that can um, push it off if it does need to separate but I don't really foresee it niche in the situation where that would be a thing but it can be used as a lifeboat if need be okay I gotcha yeah yeah it has its own redundant life support systems and everything just to make sure okay. it will awesome not die and this whole area here will be like a pressurized area or capable of being pressurized by having a little airlock with some systems that, I'm guessing because this this whole area would be kind of exposed not not really exposed but because this whole area that's that's your baby I don't know what's going on in here <laughs> <laughs> systems development is what I do yeah she's our she's our systems person Indeed. Let's go to the rear end. Take that as you will. Oh, the deflector. This is actually from a, one of my personal models that I had imported. I'll show that in a different video, though. It's like... This model's like ten times better than what the one used on Mine Track. Just... There isn't, there isn't actually a model on Mine Track. This, um... There isn't on the Mind Track server. There is no TOS Enterprise. It, that uh, that hole is not there. Believe and not. well, they do have a what they call a TOS, but it's not accurate. Well, it, well it's 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 from Discovery. It's not. I'm talking about the old the old one that I fixed the impulse engine for. Um, oh, I mean that I wouldn't call that a. Hole. Hole. That's not like the empty shell. It's just a. It's yeah. that's like guards. Guards old TOS. Did you see the landing lights I added? I did see the landing lights. Yeah, very nice. I um. Is it gonna be a? Is probably the torpedo launcher gonna sit right there ish? That's pretty much where it's gonna be, unless we wanted it to move lower. But basically, that's the aft launcher. Have we decided what this is? That is a phaser turret, my guy. Was it only a phaser turret in a mirror darkly? Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's never really described as being anything. I think so a little observation a, dome would be cool. Is, yeah, but there is no aft coverage for phasers unless this isn't a phaser. Yeah, that makes sense. Whoever said TOS made any sense? <laughs> I mean, I have to make some sense or I will die. What in the world uh, is going on here? Uh, I'll have to fix the that. nacelle. Uh, that's that's your fault for sure. That is a hundred percent my fault. Yep. A hundred percent. You did this little decal, so it is straight up your fault. <laughs> yep. Anyway. Yeah, there right. is nothing going on on the Ganymede. I just had it transferred over, so you're not going to be seeing something from that for a little while. And, oh yeah, I forgot. Um, Go subscribe to Droid's channel. He is... He's been trying to grow his channel. He's got, like, one subscriber, I think. I'm, like, 90% sure as his mother, it's, but, it's, you know. It's probably me. <laughs> He's doing very similar uh, videos to me, and they're pretty good. Here, I'll go over yeah, to I'm, I'm gonna be starting. I'm gonna be starting doing some update videos as well on my old YouTube channel, but it's not gonna be probably anything crazy. He's the guy who did the Kelvin, and this is what he's been doing videos on his Mjolnir. Mm-hmm. Why'd you get rid of my fucking saucer separation plane thing? Oh, you mean that little orange line on the back yeah, of the ship? Yeah. Oh, I yeah. was taking beauty yeah. shots, and I forgot to add it back. I mirrored the thing. Oh, thanks. <laughs> it's just on the three deck high thing. Yeah, it's right there. That's gonna be fun to do. I love saucer separations. I do too. But I love refrigerators.
We should. We need to call the Mjolnir the Jonathan. <laughs> that's that's already a joke though. It's he's already made that joke. Oh, well, we gotta put it in writing now. He will. That's gonna be his uh, his bridge thing. The also, I was, we haven't we haven't done the bridge light the little sensor lights at the front yet. I'm not quite sure. On here? Yeah. No, the sensor lights on the front of the ship. Yeah, we need to fix those. Oh yeah, also I did a mock-up transporter room, but it's really rough. I might do some more, make some new blocks for it. I did make these blocks for the console, but apparently they don't work with CNB. No, is... the modded blocks don't work well with CNB. Some of them do, just not this one. Oops. But more or less coming along well. It's yeah. just going to be a slow project. It's not going to be... These are mine in too. In, uh, in hyperdrive. I'll go over to what you. I'll, I'll take a look at the warp delta. Now I'll take a look at the warp delta. Yeah, for sure. This is my pro. This is my little project. Um, that I have started working on. I'm not the best whole detailing person, so it's been kind of. Oh, you're better than I am. <laughs> to try to work on getting the whole detailing. Um, it's uh, like an like a NX era, uh, maybe even like older. It's technically older than NX era. Um, you see it in the show a couple times, yeah. Yeah, you see it in a couple times. A couple times. It's like a maximum of like warp one point five, um, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense when you look at my what I did for its engineering section, but. That's beyond. That's beyond the point. It's just um, for out. solar system defense mostly. Yeah, it's not, it won't go beyond Earth, like or beyond Sol, really. Um, What's this? We got some ma major and minor systems oh, in here. Oh, it's a plasma accelerator. Yeah. So in here we got main engineering and the. Oh, main that is big. That's that's bigger than the. Gravitational. <laughs> yeah, the main like grav. Gravimetric field displacement manifold. Yeah, the the weird term that the NX era calls their oh shit. Do you realize how many TOS consoles there are on online? I mean, not TOS, but Enterprise consoles you can get. I can throw some textures together if you want me to. Yeah, that'd be pretty neat. Um, there are so many. Anyway, yeah, just a very it's a very chunky core. Um, I mean, things get. It, smaller as they get more advanced so maybe this is a good size <laughs> i don't know i i honestly just started building it and i didn't like wasn't thinking like hey this ship literally only goes to warp 1.5 like oh and that's, shit like, and that's, that's like that's like stretching it this is kind of big <laughs> um yeah. yeah so yeah i have most of the systems kind of laid out i only have a couple of them built um i have the main coolant systems pretty much uh done um and the um the plasma accelerator and distributor i made and that the last night off access field controller back here yeah it's, it looks it's like, like a it's like a warp field restoration matrix is the, the techno babble term for it um anywho where's shadow when you needed to explain this stuff <laughs> oh man i don't I don't need Shadow to explain me anything. I know more than him. It's like when you when you walk into a PC store and you're like, I know more than you. Uh, oh yeah, we have a little countermeasure room and some torpedo rooms. I did like the weaponry first, just because that's what I like the most. But well, not it's not not what I like the most, but that's what I really enjoy. So back here we have some like, countermeasures that can be loaded in and fired because this thing still is defense from like missile based weapon systems so okay. having like flares flares yeah, yeah yeah there's a little little levers up there that what did they do the doors oh they just they open doors yeah they open the launch doors oh um i see yeah, and if you look if you look on the ground there's like a they're like little things that will like lock up into each other after it's loaded 
That's pretty cool. Bye. Um, and then I also have the torpedo uh, rooms pretty much done. Zoom Sorry. Right it here. There you are. Ah. So this is the aft launcher room. The aft armory, I guess. Um, in here, there's like some photonic because it's slightly after the Zindi War. So it's still, it is equipped with a couple of photonic torpedoes. Come um, on, give these fools a Warp 5 engine. Come on. <laughs> and uh, down in here, we have one of the phase cannons that drops out of the hull that you can access. Um, and just the regular spatial torpedoes that will load up in here. Kind of a funky placement, so it was kind of hard to get it going. Um, in here is where the antimatter is stored. Oh, cool. Uh, I have is a it... big fucking tank here for the deuterium storage. And in he this is like the pump room, and then up right above it is where the like, conditioning and pre-burning happens. It's up here. Um, and then, then you take a little short little walk, and you're over to your forward armory, which is a little bit better. It was a lot easier to fit. Um, I mean, that's interesting. Yeah, I, I kind of made this little crane system just to make it like seem like there's like it's mo like moving little torpedoes in the mirror. It gets fucked up, but like it little crane system that no oh, yeah, winch, I guess, cool. that moves them over and places them so that they can be fired. You uh, need some CMB torpedoes. <laughs> you know, I thought about it, and then I decided that I am not going to be using CMB because it is too much of a pain in the ass. Oh, cool. Um, Shulker box boxes ain't banned. No, I, we can use them. Um, and then this is the main turbo lift. Um, this is the bottom floor of the turbo lift. To access the next deck down, you have to use the Jeffrey's tube that's here. And this is just a sen the sensor the sensor room and mostly systems for like hull plating and stuff. Um, this deck is not quite done, but it's going to be mostly systems again. Sorry, I lost um, you there. Systems and tanks on the next deck up. I see a tank. I think I'm so in the right one spot. More up. <laughs> I'm, I'm lazy. I'm going to teleport. There we go. So up here is the top level of engineering. But it's going to be mostly systems. Um, and, uh, Where do all the people live? And so the next deck up is going to be the quartering deck. Oh, I guess there's not a lot of people who live here. No. It's probably about 50 people max is what yeah. I would Yeah, same deck as a bridge, which makes sense. My half the ship yep. seems to be systems. So, yeah, mostly environmental systems. It's all very still rudimentary. Um, in the center here, you have one of the docking um, little berths. It's uh, in the ceiling and not like on the wall because it's very early and I'm. Oh, it's like a space shuttle. Off. Yeah, I'm kind of mainly basing off like submarine and like space shuttle technology where it's like still very early in space flight. So things aren't super streamlined yet um, fly over to the refit that's interesting yeah and i'm still working on the refit as well and it's also being very slowly but surely um the most recent thing i did was the uh warp 7 engine jesus i, the, I forgot not, it was this big quite <laughs> it's not quite done yet um it's in here you can, this is like a mock-up of it actually in the ship i'm sure they can get it to warp 8 if they really push it <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, it's large. This thing is large. Um, and uh, NX has both the drive system still in, so it has the like the Warp 5 engine in it still. That's just for main power, though. If you guys are wondering what this is, this was the ship, what the ship was supposed to be in Season 5 of Enterprise, but it never got produced. Uh, here is, here is uh, new main engineering. They canceled the show. We could have seen this. It was all designed. They had stories, but no. It's a very, very large, but very, very fun. I, I enjoyed 
try to mock this up. The, the hardest thing was fitting this in the confinements of the hull and, like, fitting it in. I just love that this ship is a clear grandfather of the Connie. Yeah, you can definitely see, like, the... It's like a, an actual evolution of the design. Mm hmm Yep. So, this, this still needs to be kind of fiddled with. On my mock-up, I did fix this, but... Um, yeah, it's, it's been pretty fun. I, laying out this deck has been... With these kind of engineering decks have been kind of difficult because... Of course, the the, the, mo the the deck blinds that you see aren't necessarily done realistically. So you have to make some... Um, yeah. I mean, there's some, some pretty clear deck plans online, but... There are, there are. Um, it's pretty just, cramped. Have some issues. Yeah, they, they, they tend to be really cramped, especially when you come to the scale of Minecraft. It's just hard. Without blowing up the scale of the actual ship itself to unreasonable proportions. But, but even the, this is technically pushing what the ship actually yeah. is. Yeah, I um, noticed and, that and, you didn't have big, double walls. That's positive. Well, it's pretty yeah. small. Yeah, the, the biggest syndrome of like this happening is like this airlock. That is um, tiny. Does that even work? <laughs> kind of. And then back here, there's supposed to be like a hallway that like runs this way, as well as a ton of systems. And wow, this is three high. Interesting. But I was not able to wait fit four high. Never mind. And then there's another airlock here, which is above the ground. Interesting. So. I won't tell if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's all very work, work in progress still. And there's technically like an airlock up here that, like. I don't know how it's reasonably accessible. In fact, it pretty much isn't. Um, yeah. It's just a door to nothingness. I'm perfectly content with that. You literally just go over here and it's just this, this fucking, <laughs> um, I'm not laughing. Plasma accelerator tank thing. So that Maybe airlock doesn't make sense. It doesn't you can do get much, to but... it from underneath. Maybe. I mean, it's possible. It's just it wouldn't it's be very practical. Unnecessary, but it is possible. I did a I did a similar thing on my um, warp delta, with the with the airlock on the back part of this. Just like oh well, I don't know how that will work, but okay. Like I had an issue, a similar issue on the original Kelvin I made a long time ago. You had to. There are certain parts of the main deck you couldn't get to without using a turbo lift. Like, the front and back half of the ship are separated by a turbo lift. It was bad. Ooh, I like the impulse engines. Mm. Let's see. Yep, the impulse thrusters. Mm. Ones on the side are the only ones that are fusion powered. Um, it's still very much experimental at this point in time. But the, the the rear ones here are powered by the warp five engine. Seven. Nope. These ones back here are the warp five. Um, they can be sub. Oh, the, is there the, another the one in seven. here? Yeah, the both of the engines remain. So I the forgot seven, about the, that. The warp, oh. the warp five engine still stays in here and still powers. Um, the impulse thrusters and can supplement warp power as well. That sounds really overpowered. Um, kind of, I suppose. Um, but the the biggest limitation in how fast they can go is the technology of the warp uh, coils themselves. Um, they have the power to go beyond that. It's just the technology of the warp, like coils and the warp nacelles themselves, are what's holding them back. They don't. They still have to use like the field restoration matrixes that are like down here. Um, their warp mate cells are still very primitive, so it's that's the biggest limitation to how fast they can actually go. Their warp coils will literally melt if they try to go faster than like warp seven. That's never good. No. Yeah. Hey, it's a pretty good place to cook a turkey, though. Yeah, if you want it, just absolutely filled with radiation absolutely it makes it stronger it's fine it might grow a few extra appendages all right 
that's uh, that's pretty much what I've been up to. Yeah. I'm just working on other people's stuff, and I'm kind of now the the person in charge of the map itself, um, and some of the and like the mods, um, and uh, our our dear I Panic is in charge of the permissions and like luck farms and stuff. And Waff owns the server. And yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's owned by Waff, but we're trying to make it as um, democratic as possible. Yeah. Yeah. There really isn't well, a, a leader around here. No. So, oh, while so you're pe- here. Just people, just people who volunteered for to do like back end stuff. Do you want to anyway. next update? Do you want to did I give you the re- Reliant, I mean, the Miranda thing? Is it in there? Uh, you didn't. Um, but definitely DM things like that to me. Okay. I, I, that's how I... Uh, just throw it next to the Ganny. Like I don't know if I'll do anything with it. It's just going to be cool to have. Mm-hmm. I made a Miranda version of this. Oh, gotcha. Alright, yeah, I'll take a look. Anywho, I have to uh, have to get back to what I was doing, but I appreciate your time. Well, glad to have you here. And once again, guys, mm-hmm. subscribe to Droid. He has Boy, no it. subscribers. It's kind of depressing, but if you guys <laughs> subscribe to him, you'll have some. And uh, when if Curie ever gets a channel, I'll put that in the description too. Oh, I have one. It's just I never use it. <laughs> All right, audios gamers. Audios. Okay, let's see. Later, haters.